So just a quick video to demonstrate that my AC500s lose output power when grid power shuts off and restarts. I don't lose power when the grid shuts off. They stay on. The, um, the UPS function works well when the grid power goes down. But at the moment that the grid power comes back on, that's when I lose um, output power from the AC500s for maybe five seconds. So the purpose of this video is to demonstrate that. So um, just a brief overview of how I have this connected. I have them set up for 50 amp fast charge. One of these plugs goes to, um, well, this one goes to this unit and th this plug goes to the right unit. Um, it's connected directly to my meter feeding from outside in parallel to my breaker box. Um, <clears throat> and I have these breakers, one breaker for each, each leg, each phase. So when I shut off these breakers, that's going to simulate a power outage. But first I got to show you that, um, I'm at 26% charge has been raining since yesterday. And this one's at 24%. So my power chart, my power draw right now is 205 watts and 265 watts. So this is running my entire house. I don't have a big power draw unless if my um, air conditions turn on, but it's probably in the 60s right now. So no need for AC. So I'm going to go ahead and shut shut off the, uh, the uh, 50 amp supply to simulate a, a grid outage. So um, I have my flashlight here. This is just a battery operated flashlight. And this light is uh, drawing power from the AC 500s and my, my breaker box right now. So I'm going to shut them both off at the same time. Okay. So as you can see, it, it flickered just for a brief second, but it still retained the UPS function. None of my, um, appliances shut off my, uh, my, um, I have a battery power supply. Well, that right there, it sensed the power outage, but it wasn't enough to trigger all my batteries around the house. So right now we have no power coming in from the grid. You could see zero watts coming in from the grid. Also zero watts coming in from the grid. So all my all my power right now, all these lights and everything else is running purely off my uh, six B three hundred S batteries. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these back on to simulate the uh, power restoration from the grid. So here we go. Power back on. See. So now we have no grid power. I mean, no uh, output power. And now the output power came back on. Let's do that again. So right now we have grid power. Right now we don't have grid power. We're running off of battery power. Wait for it. That's my battery that alert alerted me that there, there's been a little um, interruption in the battery supply. So now we're going to turn back. We're going to turn on the battery power. I mean, turn back on the grid power. And then wait a couple seconds. Okay. So is this reset that I don't understand why this has to occur. I don't understand why this has to occur because, um, I, yes, like I was saying, I got distracted. Um, I don't understand why this has to occur because these things are sold and marketed as UPSs. Um, and actually on a side note, I actually used to have the, the fusion box. The fusion box is that piece of apparatus that connects to the 30 amp outs. So it has one wire that goes here, another wire that goes in this one, and a communication cable. This is the communication cable that goes from one AC500 to, to the other. 
um, just to keep the two units out of phase with each other. So that way uh, you can feed power to, to your whole house. It did not work. Even when I lost grid power, like the units would just shut off and completely lose output. And you would not get output back until grid power came back on. So I would have complete 100% charge on everything. And as soon as that grid power went down, my whole system would lose output. And I literally would not get power until the grid power came back on, which made no sense. It completely defeated the purpose of having such a, you know, a nice big expensive system such as this but by eliminating the um the the fusion box i was able to retain power when the grid shuts down but now i still have the problem of it shutting down and rebooting upon grid restart so this is what i did i connected um actually i'm using the 50 amp outputs so the 50 amp outputs uh, connected directly into my transfer switch. So this is my transfer switch that allows me to select, uh, select either um, backup battery my or my gas generator or completely shut the system off. So this, uh, each each wire has um, one phase. It has a, a 240, one uh, first phase, 240, second phase on this one. And it feeds power into my breaker box and goes into my my infeed, my infeed breaker is right here. So this is the 50 amp uh, infeed breaker. So it works well, except when the grid power uh, turns back on, um, when the grid gets re-energized and it, the AC500 sense, senses that the, the grid power is back on, it'll shut off, reboot for like five seconds and then come back on, you know, which is not the end of the world, but I need this to function as a UPS right now is not functioning as a UPS, as you could see by the demonstration that the power shuts off upon grid restart for about five seconds and then comes back on. So I'm really scratching my head. I've been kind of using it like this for like the past year and a half, and I've had to fiddle with it a lot. And Blue Eddy so far has not been any help. They they offered to uh, replace the whole system with the EP900 system with the the B500 batteries but um somehow for some strange reason they decided to you know not follow through I don't know why maybe they I don't know I don't want to speculate but they didn't follow through on that so I'm I'm very disappointed so if anybody has a solution for me that would work um please let me know in the comments below and that's basically it. I'm at my wit's end with this thing. So if anybody could help me out, I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, take care and thanks for watching. Bye.